It is from this place of salvation where God takes the believer from being faithful to becoming fruitful. Maka, he takes you from being faithful to where you become fruitful. Producing in you the fruit of the Holy Spirit. In their character, their posture, their attitudes, their demeanor, their manner, their acts of loving kindness towards each other and towards humanity. Now listen, when God says he's make, he, he, causes, he takes us from being faithful to becoming fruitful, we're not talking just about the fruit of the Spirit. We're talking about the gifts that as God has given you. And when you go and you begin to impart what God asks you to impart, we saw it here today. Sister of the Lord came up, operated in the gifts of, of the Spirit of God. That was inspired by God, that he would speak to her to impart something into you, to invest a little bit more of himself in you. Amen. Amen. I feel like I'm walking in water right now. Yeah, we do that a lot here. We do it quite a bit here. It is the inspirational gift of glossalia. The spiritual language of speaking in unknown tongues. And we can go off into that, but we're not going to do that tonight. But I can prophesy to you by the word of God that says that he or she who speaks in an unknown tongue speaks not unto man, but speaks unto God. It is a gateway. Come on. It is a doorway of communication between you and the uncreated one. He who created heaven and earth, a means of communication to say, Abba, Daddy. Oh, God. Oh, God. As a believer begins to respond to this new nature in them, they begin to develop and respond to the same faithfulness of God and begin to produce the life-giving fruitfulness of God that is in him. Luke 6, 38. It is replicated and it is a spiritual law that comes from the throne room of the heart of the Father through the life of His Son and declaring that as you give, and I know most of the times this is applied to finances, but let's go, let's go beyond the finances. He who gives, it shall come back to them. How? Good measured, pressed down, shaken together and running over. When you begin to operate by the Spirit of God, when the fruit of the Spirit are upon the gifts of the Spirit and you begin to operate, come on, when you give to somebody else, and tonight we glory in God because we've, we've, ex we've witnessed that here. What you give from God to another, it will come back to you. Good measure, pressed down and shaken together. In other words, when you prophesy to somebody into their life, that prophetic gift is going to come back to you in a measure that you will not be able to measure. This is why it's so important for us to understand we got to be careful what comes out of our mouth. Instead of speaking curses, we want to speak blessings. Because you speak that curse. Look out. Man, that'll think that thing will sneak up behind you and slap you up the side of your head. And it'll find its way into your life. But let's stay out of that right now. Hallelujah. On the screen, please. Galatians 5, 22, 23. Are you getting this? From faithful to fruitful. Tonight, God's taking us from faithful 
to fruitful. I look out, I love it. Everybody's taking notes. Galatians 5, 22, 23. But the fruit of the Spirit, the result of His presence within us. Come on, get this. The presence of God in you. My brothers and sisters in the faith, those of you that are in the line. Come on, God in you. God in you. But the fruit of the Spirit, the result of His presence within us, is love, unselfish concern for others, joy, inner peace, patience, not the ability to wait, but how we act while waiting. I said, how we act while we're waiting for that prophetic word to come to pass in our lives to receive the impartation of deliverance from an affliction, from a disease, from a sickness. Come on, there's somebody in this house. Waiting, while waiting, with kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, self-control, against, uh, th against such things there is no law. Beloved, faithfulness produces trust in God. And trust in God is what? Yields, gives way to the fruit of the Spirit that God is in the life of the believer, making them fruitful. Okay, I, I got to stay because I, I got to stay on this. Oh, parabos sereki. Makar larabo saraka. How do we do this? I don't want to, we'll just bring it up. This, just as an example, this whole COVID conspiracy in the life of every believer, it was a time for us to put our faith in God Amen. and trust in God Amen. that we would not be moved by the residual effect of that scheme that came from the kingdoms of darkness. And many didn't know how to stand because they didn't trust in God. But those, those who trusted in God, you who are sitting here, you that are in line, because you trusted in God, you're still in a place, come on, where there's a development of the Spirit of God operating in and preparing you for the next thing that is about to come. It wasn't your faithfulness. It was God's faithfulness in you. Yeah. Is somebody ready for fruit from the Spirit? Yeah. Yeah. Because God is faithful, the believer can always rely and trust in God. As God's Word says, He's faithful and fruitful. It's simply saying, he, God, is trustworthy. <coughs> God is trustworthy. Man, my, my phone is, woo, hallelujah. Somebody's getting it. Knowing that God is trustworthy, the believer understands that God is committed to his word, and he will do what he says he will do in them when they yield. Oh, Jesus. When they yield, surrender to what he's asking them to do. And this is where the supernatural gift of faith in you as a believer in Christ must be applied to every situation and every circumstance that crosses your path. Faith. Faith, Minister Shada. Trust. Trust in God. Soraka Saka. And the Bible teaches that faith is, hear this, faith is right now, present tense. Faith is here right now. It's present tense and it is active. The 
The Bible teaches that faith is present tense, that faith exists because God exists. Yes. That faith takes its place where faith becomes resident in the life of the believer. Yes. Oh, somebody going to walk with me on that? Now, I'm ready to run out of this place. Woo! Karaka. Okay, so come on. Fasten your spiritual seatbelts because we're going to take off with the prophetic word. And I'm asking God to take us to an elevation. Hallelujah. An elevation in the spirit so high that everything else around us, surrounding us in this world, will not have an effect upon us as we hear this word. Come on. God is the pilot and we are the co-pilots. Come on. And don't sit there waiting for, for, for some complimenty peanuts. Mashaka. God's got a sure word for you tonight. I said he's got a sure word for you tonight. Saints, God's love is so big. His heart is so big for you. His heart is so big towards you. My, he's ready to pour more of himself out in you tonight, on you tonight. Hararaba shokosaka. Minister Charlie, are you ready? Because we're going we're gonna to go for this tonight. Shika tanana mosiri breki. Here's the prophecy. Okay. Come in for a No, I don't want, I'm not going to come in for a landing. We're going to soar. To you, my beloved, I am processing, advancing to develop in your inner man a complete work of kingdom excellence that will be recognized by those who know you. You will experience stages of progression as you actively participate in the directions given to you through my written word. In this progression, I will continue to fine-tune your ear to my voice speaking to you through Holy Spirit, causing you to act with the same social behavior that was resident in the life of my son while he was on the earth. Tonight, I am releasing myself as the anointed one. Oh, my God, I got to start that again. Tonight, I am releasing myself as the anointed one who will, ab who will abide within your inner man as a permanent resident, offering a continual refreshing of my love with power, inspiring you to function, to advance, to actively participate in what I, the great I am, am doing in the earth to touch, to heal, excuse me, to touch you, to heal you, to inherit, to take possession of it. You must lay aside times of intimacy, as, excuse me, as you lay times of intimacy aside with me, setting yourselves with a direction from me to see from heaven's perspective to what is needed to be done in you for you and through you. Listen to Dad. Listen to Abba. Tonight, I... Tonight, I come as a visitation, making myself tangible, perceptible by touch in this house where my presence confirms that I am here for you and desire to work through you, says the Lord. I am now in the midst of you, interceding with Holy Spirit to renounce, woo, to renounce every evil and diabolical assignment and scheme intended for you by the evil one who comes to kill, steal, and destroy. Everything you are to inherit as one of my sons and daughters. Oh my God, somebody. It will be through the in intended times of intercession with you. 
myself and Holy Spirit that will break down, abort, and destroy all the assignments of darkness directed toward you and your household, preventing you from advancing my kingdom, ushering in this final harvest of souls. I got to take in a breath here, my God. Tonight, with your soul laid at the feet of my beloved son, Jesus, come to me with your hearts consecrated as an example, as a promise to give to me your time, separating yourselves from the things of this world that are unclean. As you do, you will witness the power of my love to operate through you with the fruit of Holy Spirit and the gifts of Holy Spirit functioning at 100% capacity. Tonight, here in this dwelling place of mine is an offer that no man can offer. It is I and I alone that have made my presence tangible so that you, my beloved, will know without question that I, the Lord of hosts, the King of kings, the King of glory, have called you and chosen you for such a time as this. Come, come unto me, Jesus, who is and will always be the author and the finisher of your faith to advance you to promote you as part of a remnant that will usher in the bridegroom to receive her bride, says the Spirit of the living God. Will somebody join me in my praise? I said, will somebody join me in my praise? Yeah, I only have 24 more pages to read. This is where the anointing of God, the taste of that new wine uh, uh, becomes uh, uh, flavorful upon your, your tongue. And the result of that is it becomes the intoxication, maraka, of the Holy Spirit. Sometimes we get a little silly. Mararabaka, sharabaka, saka. But even in the silliness, God will cause you to prophesy. God will still cause you to speak on his behalf. That in his intoxication, you don't slur your words over somebody in this house. You don't speak dumb of yourself. Oh, God, you speak in accordance to his will into the life of an individual so that they're not hearing from you, they're hearing from their Father in heaven. These signs will accompany those who have believed in my name. Do you believe God? Amen. Do you believe in his name? Amen. Because the Bible tells us that everything is in the name. Everything that you need is in the name of Jesus, the Christ, the anointed one, the son of the living God. Those who have believed in my name, faith is in the name of Jesus. In my name, they, you as a son or daughter of the living God, they, you will cast out demons. They, you will speak in new tongues. They, you, will pick up serpents. And if they, you, drink any deadly thing, it will not hurt you. They, you, will lay hands on the sick. And they, you, those of you who lay hands upon others, will make them well.
We're so ready to release this. Oh, my God. Beloved, there's a substance. Oh, hopa. Mararabakas. A physical matter. A material. Get this. Oh, you're, oh, you're, you're going to get it. You're, you're, you're going to... Revelation is in the house. Because Jesus is in the house. There is a substance, a physical matter, a material, an object with uniform properties that is given to the believer on the day of their declaration, confessing Jesus as Savior and Lord. That substance is called faith. And it is supernatural. And it is given by God, who is a God of the supernatural. A God of peace, a God of joy, a God of hope which is a feeling of expectation and a desire for a certain thing to happen. To the screen, Hebrews 11. Now faith is the substance of things hoped for and the evidence that, of, of things not seen. Karabosi. We told you we're going to get you active tonight. Maraka. Come on, Holy Ghost aerobics tonight. Come on. Hebrews 11. Now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. Everybody's standing. Come on. Everybody's standing. And take somebody by their hand. Let's cross, cross the aisles. Take hands. Those of you that are home, extend your hands uh, through your, your media. And by the supernatural gift of faith that is in you, let us all make this declaration together. Now, I'm going to say I, when I say I, put your name in there, okay? For instance, I, Michael. You say I, whatever your name is. All right. I seize and hold tightly the confession of my hope in God Without wavering. Without wavering. For, he, For he, God, God who, promises, who promises, is reliable, is reliable trustworthy, trustworthy, and faithful to his word, faithful to, his word to, perform to perform it in me and through me. And through me. Now turn to somebody and tell them, I got, I got this. And God is taking me from faithful to becoming fruitful in Jesus' mighty name. All right, give God, somebody give God praise. 